warping to Kakariko at the beginning of two straight parts? What is this blasphemy? Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now that I have the bridge fixed over at um, the west side of Castle Town, you know, Hyrule Castle, I can now do a little side quest here and it's kind of annoying, but it has to be done for a heart piece is within our grasp. Well, after finishing, I cannot answer I mean, I cannot understand that, at, like, at all, and what? What are you screaming for? I'm not frightening. You could? I mean, you did? How? What? Well, I'm not sure if I showed this Goron before, but I will soon, because I'm gonna have to show you the path to this Goron. You'll see why. So, yeah, we have to go check that Goron out, so... Let's use our horse whistle and get our nearly useless piece of horse meat and no pay back to us. <laughs> yeah, as I said, there's little to no use for a no pay here left in the game because of our ability to warp. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to show you the path that we have to take to that Goron because we actually have to hoof it there. We can't even use a no pay. You'll see why when I get to this. <sighs> So now that we're out here, we want to take a right and see on the map over there, a little path just below the ferry, that's the spot that you want to go to. So let's go straight forward. You can see the castle from here. And I ran out of whooping power, which is too bad. I'll just run over you for the fun of it. Why not? <laughs> and there's the bridge that we repaired with the thousand rupees that I funded alone. Why didn't anyone else donate to that dang thing? <laughs> Anyway, maybe, maybe people are broke or something. So anyway, this is the Goron that I'm looking for. Ugh, I do not feel like doing a thing. Now the bridge is fixed, my body feels terrible. I just cannot go for stuff to sell it. You know, all I really need to do is shower myself with some piping hot spring water. See, I think you know what you're supposed to do now. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not actually going to... Uh, go right back to Kakariko right now. I'd actually like to go into Castle Town and visit Giovanni because we have 20 post souls. I figured, well, as long as we're in the area, why not, you know? <laughs> and I also don't think that I have shown you where Mallow is attempting to take over a shop, did I? It's actually... <laughs> it's it's pretty silly because this this shop is so high-end and so snooty that they make you um, shine your shoes before you get in the place. You'll see when I get it. You'll see when I get back here. Um, I think this is where the shop is. Let's see here. Uh, I just gotta find the shop again. I, it's, it's not a place that I go too often, let's just say that. Hello there. Welcome! Let's open the door. Excuse me, I am terribly sorry, but... Well, having a customer in the store with shoes as filthy as yours can make our other clients uncomfortable. We hope that you will come back once you have found some more polished footwear. Mmm, yes. So now we're looking for a shoe shine guy, and I believe this is the guy we're looking for. Why, yes they are. Well, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't really look at people's shoes, but whatever. I mean, I mean, when I talk to someone, I attempt to look at their face, not their shoes. <laughs> okay, so please polish my shoes. And yeah, you have to pay him 10 rupees to get in. It's kind of a waste to show you this, because you don't have to do this at all, but... Yes, they are delightful, but... Yeah, you can see your shoes are now sparkling. They'll eventually get dirty again as you go around, but... Um... You can actually hear the sparkles. Listen. They sound like the golden bugs, actually. So don't go too far and just go inside the store. Yeah, that's, that's really all I have to say, okay. So now I can go inside with my shoes all sparkly. <laughs> so this is the store that Mallow wants to take over. Pretty nice place, I have to say. It's uh, very high-end. And that's kind of the problem. If you look at what they're selling here. Well, sure, why not? Let's see what they have to sell. You got the arrows. It's, this is basic stuff here. And let's, let's see the blue potion here. 
10,000 rupees! No! <laughs> Even if you had the largest wallet in the game, you could not buy the stuff that has no price on it. Like, you see, you can buy the arrows, because it's got a price of 10 on it, but when you select whatever potion, or whatever thing is on there, yeah! <laughs> This magic armor is something I'll have to get for 100%ing the game as well, but this thing is 100,000 rupees! Good lord, man! And you can get these cheaper from... Um... Yeah, from Barnes. <laughs> so that that's the issue here. You can't afford any of the main stuff in the store, and... That's kind of the reason why you want to get the shop taken over, because you need that armor. And I, I can't talk to these people? Really? Wow. I guess they're just that snooty. <laughs> Alright, so now that I showed you the shop and wasted 10 rupees, <laughs> I am going to go over to Giovanni's place now. And I, I can just go right to the south place here. There we go. And transition. Not going over to the bar this time. <laughs> wait, wait, I went too far. I went too far. My mistake. No, no, no. Should not attempt to roll through the streets. I've said that before. <laughs> Alright, Giovanni is here. And let's see if I can transform in a corner. Yes, I can. So go in here. Now that we have 20 pole souls, he's got something for us. What's up? Yay! He can move again! Why, well, yes it is! No one else is collecting pole souls. Just like no one donates to that Goron. <laughs> that sounds awesome! You not only get a bottle, you get these great fairy tears. And these great fairy tears are similar to the rare chew jelly that I talked about earlier in that they raise your attack power for a limited amount of time or until you get hit and they refill your health to the max very handy also very rare except they are not rare in this one place that's like end game material you'll see when i get there it's a place in the gerudo desert mm. oh he just said that <laughs> i should have read that before i spoke but whatever So yeah, this is what you need the 60 ghosts for. You need to restore him... Yeah, back to full, and he doesn't have anything for you in the meantime. So, we're gonna leave him be, and we've got some more side quests to do. So... Whoop. I'm going to attempt to warp out of here, and back to Kakariko. Because I'm going to start that uh, Goron Springwater side quest. Oh boy, this one's a doozy. <laughs> You'll see why. Now what I want to do here is transform back into a human. Because apparently a wolf is just way, way too frightening for most people. <laughs> I suppose a wolf can't speak, although Link can seem to talk anyway. He just has some grunts and moans and stuff like that. So now I'll tell this Goron what the heck happened to the other Goron. Uh, oh, there we go. So he's going to give us the hot spring water we need. And yes, I will do it. And now... Hope to God an enemy does not knock it out of your hands. <laughs> Here we go. Run for it. I, I think the best way to do this is to like hug the right side, like the edge. And just keep going along the edge until you get to that Goron. Try and cut corners if you can, but otherwise do not let enemies shoot you or knock you around and stuff like that. Because as soon as you take one hit... You drop this barrel on the ground, and you're screwed! <laughs> and, I, have I never used this bridge over here, over here before? Because I don't see it marked on the map, that's rather interesting, actually. Hmm. And, it's now nighttime, so I could actually go get some poles if I want to. <gasps> Please don't shoot me! I have hot spring water! Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Oh, he's not shooting anymore, thank god. <laughs> 
Okay, stay towards the edge because there's levers around this area as well and that would really suck if, you know, a lever knocked your water out of your hand because they're, they're kind of unpredictable enemies. And this actually went pretty well, a lot, a lot better than I thought it would. Unless the water is going to cool off before I get it there and yeah, <laughs> that would be terrible. Alright, let's throw the water on him. I guess this wasn't as, as bad as I thought it would be. Yes, it is. And whoop. Yeah! That was really easy, actually. A lot easier than I remember it. Maybe because I just kept getting hit by arrows or something like that. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And he's gone. <laughs> From here, he's not going to give you anything. You have to go back to the other Goron. And wow, this is a long cutscene. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I guess he does give you something. I thought the other Goron gave it to you. Well, whatever. There's the heart piece. Grab that sucker. Yeah! And now that it's nighttime, let's get some poles, or at least a pole that I missed. Again, back in the Kakariko area. <laughs> well, it's actually near Death Mountain. So... You know, I haven't really showed you how Gorons are living now back at Death Mountain, have I? You know, after I cleared out the area. Uh, when I went through there the first time, I was like, it was like all business. There, there was no sidetracking or anything whatsoever. Alright, so... Let's get ourselves over to the Death Mountain Trail. I'll see you over there by the Goron that boosts you up to that upper ledge. Oh crappers, it's already turning daytime. That's the pole that I want. <laughs> All right, get me up there. Yes, 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 Ani. Boost me up quickly. Oh jeez, why did I press the A button? What's wrong with me? <laughs> there we go, get up there. Back to a wolf. Get that Poe now. No, no, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Uh, this way. There we go. Got it. I say woohoo a lot, but that's because I'm very satisfied. <laughs> so another pole bites the dust. Next side quest. So here we are at Upper Zora's River, of uh, which I'm going to do a couple side quests here. Starting with... well, hmm. Hmm. I think I'll just go to the fishing hole, which is over here. Because this fishing hole is like... A part in on itself, and I'm not too far into this part. Oh, did I ever read the sign here? Uh, okay, okay. And you're gonna need a bunch of rupees for uh, a couple of the side quests here, so let's get to them. That's why I didn't pay off the gore. I mean, I didn't give you know give ru rupees to that Goron over at the village. And is it is it open now? I mean, I, I would think it is open now. The sinking lures are prohibited. I actually forgot where you get the sinking lure from, actually. Hmm. Well, anyway, go into this shack and meet up with someone new. But this girl knows someone that we know. Look at that, it's coral on the wall. What's up? Nope. Well, nice to meet you. Uh, talk to this bird for the fun. You can't talk to the bird? I thought you could talk to the... Hmm. Um, well, no, we're not right now, but I thought I could talk to a bird because I want to show... Ah, there we go. Da little parakeet. Now, can I? 
because that bird says funny stuff sometimes. That's why I want to do it. But whatever, I guess I'll just do the canoe rental thingy okay. here. So she's going to be our guide. And we've got some stuff to do here. You'll notice up there is a heart piece. Oh, and he, she already gave us the uh, lure rod, by the way. That is, um, see that it's a different, it's a different rod than what we have over there. Okay, anyway, so stop right here. And I just want to do like around the corner so the fish doesn't bug us. And that was terrible. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm going to have to do it a little bit more towards the area. See, what you want to do is get yourself a big fish. And... Although, wait, maybe, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Like, maybe I'm... I'm thinking of Ocarina of Time too much. Anyway, as you can see with the uh, actions on there, you shake the Wii Remote up and down to reel like a reel, and you can move the bobber around by tapping left and right with the... well, by clicking it left and right with the Wii Remote. This is the fish that I want to get, though, if I recall correctly. This very large and finicky fish. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Pull it in, reel it in. Come on, come on. And, oh, got it landed with A and B. The controls are slightly different than the other fishing rod. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Link. Please, yes. Woohoo! Uh, I, I think that's what I need, actually. I'm... So anyway, I'm going to put this away, and now what I'm going to do is get that heart piece that's up there. And how do you get that heart piece when you don't have access to your items? Well, this is how. You go around like here, and then you pull out the rod. Uh, maybe that's a little too close. I mean, I'm a little too far away. I need to get closer. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, aim for it. And... Wah! Got it! And that's how you get the heart piece. <laughs> awesome tastic! Okay, now I'm gonna put this away. And... I'm gonna explore the area. There's, there's a garbage dump around here that uh, contains another bottle that I would like to get as well. But yeah, I remember needing to catch a large fish for something. Maybe it was just because I wanted to break a record or something, but I don't remember if it was for a heart piece or if it was for something else. I, I really don't remember, but I remember that I had to catch a large fish, and that was the one, or that was the area that I caught the fish. Hmm. So I'm just wandering around this area to show you it a little bit. It is a beautiful fishing area, and it's kind of like a game in on itself, actually. Um, Kiruki? Is that... Uh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Ah, so peaceful. So calm. The trees are blossoming. There's fishies in the water. Wait, 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 wait. is this... No, that's just the bridge. I remember it was this area, but you don't do it on the boat. You have to do it on foot. So what I'm going to do is talk to Hannah here. And, you, but, oh yeah, that's right. You can change lures as well. Uh, so this, the, all these attract different kinds of fish. I don't know if I'd really want to cover this now because there's, uh, yeah, so much stuff. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to quit fishing. And yeah, so I'd like to get back to the cabin. That was the only way to get that heart piece, and I'd like to get the bottle outside of it in the garbage. Ah, there we go. 
Yeah, maybe it was just to break a record or, or something like that. But anyway, I'm gonna go outside here. Yeah, I don't remember why I needed a larger fish. Maybe I just did it on my other playthroughs. Just, just a fishy fish. <laughs> hmm. I'm baffled why I thought that, because I know that that's the only heart piece in the area, and, well, whatever. So here's the sign that I, do not litter. Do not toss empty bottles or cans here. The fish are crying. Keep the fishing hole clean. Well, fine. If you look in the water, actually, maybe you can't see it. Hmm. I'm not... It's it's somewhere around in this area, but I'm pretty sure it is back over here. <laughs> Clearly, I am inexperienced in this particular area. So let's just plop a lure in here. Not sure what I'll be able to catch though. Oh, a little bit too late there. Because see, what I'm looking for is a bottle around here. That's not a bottle. There we go. You can't see what you're catching, you just gotta fish in there randomly. <laughs> but yeah, this is the fourth and final empty bottle. Sweet! If you look in your inventory, there they are, a complete set. <sighs> Alright, one more side quest that I'm going to do here. And this one's just for fun. If you go back to this cabin... You know, I should see if that bird's going to talk this time. <laughs> Alright, are you going to chat? Hmm... Huh, I don't... This whole place is puzzling me, but I do know there's a game over here. If you look over here... Yeah, you gotta go in first person view by pressing the C button. Why, yes it did. It's known as the Roll Goal! This game has annoyed so many players. But yes, I will play. So all you have to do is tilt the pick the game, well, you're actually tilting the Wii Remote, to roll the ball over to the fish tray. And you can change the angle of the camera, I suppose, but I, I don't usually have to do that. Alright. You have plenty of time to do this, so... What happened there? <laughs> Seriously, what happened there? And it costs 5 rupees per play, which is kind of sucky. And get there, roll it over, and straight, carefully, get it to the goal, and there we go, I have no idea what happened that first run, it, it, it like tilted back on its own or something. So, she's gonna make a new course, but the same one is there right now. So we gotta leave and come back. <laughs> Seriously, you gotta do that every time. And there is eight games that you have to play to complete this little side quest of sorts. If I don't even know if you could call this a side quest, but you can do them all to get yourself something. You'll see. Once I finish this, and why am I trying to talk to this? I have to look at it like that. I, I mean, I just, I just did it. So why did I think I'd, I'd be able to talk to it? <laughs> All right, one, two, let's do it. But carefully. <laughs> Three minutes is plenty of time to get through any of these courses, although they get a little bit more intensive as you go. But that's to be expected with these sort of things. Carefully. Try and do it at lateral angles, you know, like left down, upright, if at all possible. Just so that things stay nice and simple. You don't have to make the ball fly everywhere. <laughs> and 
and in. Roll go! So she's gonna make another course. She makes these courses really fast. I mean, if we have to leave and then come back, and then she's already got another one. I mean, this is like seconds she nails together another one of these roll goal mini games. <laughs> you know, I actually have uh, like hand puzzle mini game action things that are similar to this, like in real life ones, not in game ones. <laughs> They actually make them. They're, they're kind of fun, but at the same time, pretty annoying. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, I, don't, I really have no idea what happened on that first run that screwed me over, so... <laughs> but later levels of this actually have slopes and stuff like that, which get kind of ugly. Just saying. But the early ones are really easy. As you can see, I'm just drifting through it nice and carefully. Mm. Thank you, thank you. And this is pretty much where you want to have a lot of rupees, because some of these may take a lot of tries, actually. And that would be pretty sucky. Alright, back in we go, and she's gonna have another one built. <laughs> Makes no sense, but she does. Come on, come on, there we go. Level one four! You'll notice that there's it's it's one four, but the thing is is that after you do eight of them, like the initial eight roll goal puzzle game things. Whoa, 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 whoa. I panicked. <laughs> Like, once you do the initial eight of them, what'll happen is that the, the newer ones will just be... Um, she'll just decrease the time limit. So it's basically the same game, or same games, but with less time to do them. And you can do them all the way up to... I think it's like six, six or eight of them. Six, six versions of each of them, quote-unquote, with less time limits. And it, once you do all of them, you can play any level you want at any time. And I guess that's the real prize of this, so to speak. I, I don't remember how many there are though. I, I actually never did them all before because it, it got kind of boring and tedious to me after a while to go through them. So, because I knew the prize that you would get after completing them all, I was like, eh, I, I just don't feel like doing any more. And yeah. <laughs> so I technically never 100% of the game uh, in this fashion, so to speak, yeah. Actually, never 100% the game in general, because I, I just never got around to collecting all the poses and stuff like that. <gasps> I know, shocker, but... <laughs> it, it's a thing of, if you attempt to do it without a guide, it's, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> so... I mean, because there's no way to tell if you got all of the um, pose in an area, and yeah. So it's it's all trial and error unless you've got yourself a list of them and stuff like that. So I, I'm, I'm kind of playing off a guide, yet I'm not. By the way, there's a slope there. Get yourself over the slope, but carefully. Oh. And now you've got a little curve to go along with it as well. So this is where things get a little bit tricky. <laughs> Okay, good. Carefully get it around. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, oh dear. Oh my. Okay, we're doing well, we're doing well. Maybe I should be shifting the camera, but I'm, I'm doing okay, so maybe not. And roll go! And let's do another one. <laughs> I wonder where her materials are that she's able to get them together so fast and then nail them together and yeah, you get the idea. Or maybe it's just, they're magnetic or something like that. <laughs> uh, this one's not much harder than the other one because it's got that initial slope, but it's got the same basic 90 degree turns through the, re oops, through the rest of it. And I had it too, dang it. That, that slope is the hard part of it. Oh. 
And you have to have enough speed to get it over the edge. Like just over the top like that, but not too far that it rolls past it. it it's kind of tricky to get the feel, but you can do it. Right. Doing well, doing well, do not panic. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, I'm shifting to the side. Lateral angles. Carefully, oh god. Oh god. Oh my. Almost got it. Roll, go! Yeah, let's do another one. <laughs> I can't sigh enough for how odd it is that you have to leave and then come back to play another one. <laughs> the last one is a real doozy though, so be on the lookout for that. By the way, Henna here is uh, one of Coral's sisters, in case you didn't know that. As is Iza, the girl that runs the boat shop just outside the fishing hole here. Yeah, his, his family is far and wide. Oh, poopy! Oh, and that next one's gonna be really tricky. This After this slope here, the next one's gonna be really, really touchy. Okay, maybe I should shift the camera around like that. Why not? Um, oh, oh, jeez! I had it! Oh, yeah! <laughs> No, 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 okay, good. This is super monkey ball. Oh, dang it! <laughs> uh, or Marble Madness, one of the two, whatever you want to compare it to. Ah! I'm over shifting now. I'm not rushing either, it's just that I'm, I'm over tilting. Ooh, ooh. Okay, good. I don't know if this would be better or if the other one or if the other way would be better. Like if I'm moving it towards me or not. I'm used to moving it away from me, so I guess this will be fine. Come on. Oop. Oop. Ah. <laughs> this is also another reason why I never got around to beating all the courses with uh, a much more limited time frame, is because the the last couple of them are quite annoying <laughs> and it's not all that fun to play a very similar game like this over and over again at least in my opinion all right i'm gonna try it sideways this time oh yeah <laughs> it's definitely easier when i move towards myself like that i mean when i move it away from me excuse me so let's shift it over Careful, careful, oh jeez, I do not like this last one. <laughs> By the way, the handheld ones I have at least have borders on them, they're not like this. So they're a lot uh, more forgiving, but at the same time they're not, because the, the ball that you're rolling inside the handheld ones is a lot more wild <laughs> in comparison. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Got, I gotta get the feel of this. And I only have to do it once. No, no. Ah! I only have to do it once. Come on now. I've got the hang of the first one, as you can tell. Well, for the most part, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> oh! How do you get it to stay on that little corner? Oh, it's so touchy. On. See, this is why I, said, why I said I shouldn't have said that I got the first one. I mean, I got the hang of the first one. Oh, there we go. Oh, but, uh. <sighs> You're probably loving this, though. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Can I get... Uh, can like, nudge it up? Can I... <laughs> Dang it! It's so touchy. Monkey Ball is still a harder game though. <laughs> At least Monkey Ball 2 is. Whoop! Oh, I think I had that! 
Oh, I just pulled back a little too much. Yeah, I should practice it more on this first one here. Try to land it on the that brown one. See how quickly my rupees are going though? <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, no, no. Let that go. Come on. Come on. Just barely get up the edge of the. Ah. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> and I failed way too early. I'm not I'm not rushing or anything like that. It's just that tricky something. What, what was that? Did you see that? The ball like skipped. That was weird. I just need to do it once. Maybe what I should do is like attempt to turn the like the corner or something like that as I'm going up there to give myself more running room. I don't know. <laughs> Should get myself a little bit to the right, like on the right edge. It's oh, I had it. Uh, ah. You just have so little time to react that it's a thing of you're gonna use a lot of rupees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 ah! I, I'm getting really close. Uh, I just over pushed there. <sighs> Boy, I'm using a lot of rupees here. I'm gonna try it like that and then I'm gonna try it like that and then tilt forward really quick just for the heck of it. Like like to try something different. Like maybe oops, like maybe it's more speed based than anything. I've completed all eight before, and I can do them again, dang it. What? <sighs> By the way, if you complete all eight of these, you get a, a frog lure, which is good for catching many kinds of fish. Oh! See, that's what I wanted to try to do, is get it just off, just up to the top, and then bolted forward into the fishy cup. And up and over. Ah! Oh. Jesus. My hands are getting sweaty. <laughs> Maybe I should continue this another time because I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> So, yeah, I think I'm going to end it off here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part. I'll come back to that later, I suppose, to get that fish lure, but it's not a high-priority thing. You can continue trying it on your own if you'd like. <laughs>